Uh, as you know, we've had greatly restricted freedom of movement since the COVID got going. We've got all these contradictory, count, uh, eternally shifting rules about whether you can fly from London to Paris, from Paris to New York, from New York to Sydney, and, they, and basically freedom of movement as a widely accepted human right has died in the last uh, two years. And I can see if the WHO got its new powers that they're always part of the public health uh, emergency. We're not going to let anybody leave their countries or their states or their provinces. I can well see it actually coming up with something like that. And you know a little bit about this yourself, Ava, because. Uh, your uh, handsome young swain, uh, ha you, you have the misfortune to have fallen in love with someone on the other side of the planet. And it actually, uh, made, it's actually made it difficult for the two of you to be together. You're together right now. But that took some finesse on your part to arrange that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I know firsthand what it's like to be, uh, well, kept away from your loved ones because of these zirconian measures. I'm right now speaking to you from Los Angeles in the United States of America, which uh, would have been, I thought, impossible to say, because a lot of people don't know this, but actually the United States is still locked for the unvaccinated from Europe. So non-citizens from Europe mm. that are not vaccinated, which I myself am, I am a proud unvaccinated woman, um, I would not have been mm -hmm. able to travel to the U.S. if it wasn't for my smart and handsome fiancé who knew someone who worked for a humanitarian organization that needed someone to come and give some counseling on European legal matters. And it turns out that, the, that, the, uh, that there is a humanitarian exemption for uh, the vaccine. So for people who come and do humanitarian work in the U.S., they don't have to be vaccinated. But that is one of the very, very few exemption grounds for the vaccine requirements so without this if i wouldn't have been a lawyer and if my fiance didn't find out about this mm. this work that i would be able to go and do i wouldn't have been able to see him and that is the case for hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people all across the world in canada as you know but also in the united states who are yep. not able to see their friends and family who haven't been able to see their friends and family for years now and nobody seems to be talking about this so the idea that COVID is over is not a reality for a lot of people.